Well, the runoff elections for the March primaries are coming up two months from today. Now, the runoffs were originally set for May 26th, but Governor Abbott pushed them back because of the pandemic. But unlike some other places around the country, the COVID-19 threat will not mean an expansion of the mail-in ballot system. Our Seth Kovar has a look at that. Well, lots of people would like to vote from here, right at home using mail-in ballots. But right now, the only people who can do that are 65 years old and older or disabled. And it doesn't look like that's going to change before the primary runoff elections that happen two months from today. Yeah, of course it weighs on you. New Aces County Clerk Kara Sands is talking about the responsibility of holding elections during a global pandemic. She says she's doing all she can to make sure polling places are safe, and that starts with eliminating some of them. Several of our locations are senior centers. Even early voting, we're not doing that at all. Um, so that's the first thing we did. She's doing other things as well, like providing sanitation stations at the polls and enforcing proper social distancing. And then there are the voting machines themselves. Because it's touchscreen, right? So we want to keep those clean. So we'll do cleaning in between, but also we're going to give the voters alcohol wipes to clean it before and clean it after. So we're going to need their help as well. Some of those voters, even those afraid of the coronavirus, say they won't let those fears get in the way of doing their civic duty. Well, I'm going to vote, so I, whether I have to wear a mask or what have you, I'm going. Correct. I agree. Expanding the mail-in ballot system is still a possibility, if not now, in the future. The matter is still working its way through the court system. But for now, it's in-person voting for most of us, and Sand says we'll be able to do it safely. My job is just to follow the law, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. That's what I've always done. We'll see what, what happens with the uh, court says. Primary runoffs are usually some of the least attended, so crowd control in July shouldn't be a problem. The big question is, what happens in November when we head to the polls to elect a president? We'll have to wait and see what election leaders and COVID-19 have to say about it. Reporting from the Home Office, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News. Well, time now to get your first look at the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dell Nelson. Well, it was nice to see the rain. It's